Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. We are a global Methodist congregation. This week I am doing Daily Devotions focused on John Wesley's rules for money. Rule number one, gain all you can. But Wesley gives us some caveats, some ways in understanding how we should and we should not be gaining. And today, to help us understand this, we're looking in the Old Testament at the book of Genesis, reading from chapter 30, verses 25 through 36. Hear now these words. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way so I can go back to my homeland. Give me my wives and children for whom I have served you, and I will be on my way. You know how much work I have done for you. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. He added, Name your wages, and I will pay them. Jacob said to him, You know how I have worked for you and how your livestock has fared under my care. The little you had before I came increased greatly, and the Lord has blessed you wherever I have been. But now, when may I do something for my own household? What shall I give you? Laban asked. Don't give me anything, Jacob replied. But if you will do this one thing for me, I will go on tending your flocks and watching over them. Let me go through all your flocks today and remove from them every speckled or spotted sheep, every dark colored lamb, and every spotted or speckled goat. They will be my wages. And my honesty will testify for me in the future whenever you check on the wages you have paid me. Any goat in my possession that is not speckled or spotted, or any lamb that is not dark colored, will be considered stolen. Agreed, said Laban. Let it be as you have said. That same day, Laban removed all the male goats that were streaked or spotted, and all the speckled or spotted female goats, all that had white on them, and all the dark colored lambs, and he placed them in the care of his sons. Then he put a three-day journey between himself and Jacob, while Jacob continued to tend the rest of Laban's flocks. Laban is the father-in-law of Jacob. And Jacob has had a long history of going back and forth with Laban cheating Jacob and Jacob trying to gain the upper hand with Laban. And finally, here we are at this point in the story where Jacob says, hey, Let me have all of the sheep and all the goats that are mixed in their furs, and you keep all of the white ones. And if that is suitable to you, then that's how we'll make things work going forward. And Laban says, sure, let's do that. Except then Laban cheats Jacob yet again. Before Jacob had a chance to go through and separate out all of those particular kinds of sheep and goats, Laban did it instead and took all the ones that should have been Jacob's off to his sons three days away. Now, why would he do that? Well, because he didn't want Jacob to get anything. Laban wanted it all for himself. And that's why John Wesley says, gain all you can, but you must not behave in an illegal or an immoral, unethical manner. You should not do things that are going to harm yourself, your your health or your vitality, your very life. These are the kinds of things that if you engage in those behaviors, you're not gaining all you can. You're hurting yourself and you're making money more important than it ought to be. Laban made his wealth, his money, illustrated by the sheep and the goats, more valuable than the relationship that he had with his son-in-law, his daughters, his grandchildren. Laban wanted money. He wanted wealth more than he wanted anything else. My friends, gain all you can, but don't hurt yourself. Don't cheat in order to do so, because it will 
catch up with you just as it did with Laban. And if you want to know more, go open the rest of Genesis and see what the outcome actually was. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next daily devotion.